we are at the up-and-coming brand spanking new Kenosha Supercharger. Although this one is only about two freeway exits from the Pleasant Prairie Supercharger. Uh, the Pleasant Prairie Supercharger being at the uh, Pleasant Prairie Outlet Mall. Uh, there might be a reason why. Now this one's a 12 stall version 3 Supercharger. Uh, I'm going to zoom in here because I got it gated off. It's still being, you know, it's still being built. So let's zoom in there a little bit. Some spools of cabling. Now, apparently the outlet mall, where the original Pleasant Prairie Supercharger is at, uh, which was the second station ever built in Wisconsin, I do believe, 2013, and uh, one of the first superchargers in the world, or one of the, it made the uh, cross-country supercharging uh, network possible. Um, the mall apparently is installing gates on their parking lot so they can close down their parking lot at night, uh, which according to mall employees that I talked to would mean that there would be no nighttime supercharging, which could have been what led to the need for this location, um, which is again, quite literally, it's two freeway exits away, about three quarters of a mile away from the uh, Pleasant Prairie Mall. And this one's at a Woodman's grocery store. Um, I can't remember if Woodman's are open 24 hours a day or not. But uh, 12 stalls, this is a version three. Apparently all future superchargers are going to be version three, except for a few special cases. Um, there's just way too many cars nowadays. Uh, Urbans just aren't cutting it. You use as much power as you can. Get them in and out as quick as you can. Shipping blankets there. And this one was kind of a surprise. It just kind of, someone noticed out of nowhere here. National rent defense. <laughs> Some heavy duty wiring. Now they're going to be putting, uh, let's see, power power cabinets right there, then the white cabinets right there are the actual stations. So, for those of you that can actually make use of the version 3s, um, this is going to be an awesome addition. It's going to be awesome for everybody. It's a 12 stall. And the old the 8 stalls at the, uh, the outlet mall uh, do get crowded. And those are slower than most V2s. Those were, those were V1s that were mostly upgraded. Those max out at like 118, 120 kilowatt. Not the 150s the V2s max out at. And it does not look like the outlet mall is going to be getting too much more love. Other than regular maintenance. So these V3s would be very much desired. I am not sure where the transformer is going to be going. Um... It could be, it could have gone in that spot there. I'm not too familiar with the mechanics of the V3s. Um, so it could have been in that one spot with the conduit sticking up. However, there's usually uh, a gray box with each of the, at least V1s and V2s and Urbans. So that's quite a awesome development and again. Uh, this was actually found by accident, kind of the same way that I found out about the Mostyn supercharger back in November 2013. And that be it. Awesome sauce.